Hey guys, so I've gotten a lot of questions about uh, herb lore lately, because as you can see I've been doing quite a bit of it. Um, basically a lot of people are wondering, huh, like what potion should I do, or which potion's best to do, and basically there's not a definitive answer to that question because the market's constantly changing. So um, what I always tell people is calculate the GP per XP on the potion, and uh, for some reason a lot of people don't know how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that today, and um, yeah, because a lot of people like to think that uh, just because a potion, the, like the margin between um, the supplies and the final product is more, um, that that's uh, not a good potion to do, when in reality, um, you got to factor in how much XP you're getting for that potion to determine if that potion's efficient to do, or if it's cheap to do, or whatnot, so... Let's get started. Okay, so in general, there's a whole bunch of potions you can be making, but there's only a few that are actually, like, ever worth doing, like, whoever makes magic essence potions, like, you just don't do that. So in general, the potions that you want to be doing are, um, either, like, uh, super combat potions, anti-venom pluses, those two are typically the best potions, but they also have the highest requirements, so unless you're 90 plus, um, you probably don't have access to those. Um, some other good potions you usually uh, aren't that much of a loss are uh, super restores, super energies, sometimes super strength, defense, and attacks. Also anti-fires and ranging potions. And then also uh, Zami brews are pretty good too, but they don't always sell that often and um, they're kind of an odd potion. So are staminas and extended anti-fires. Sometimes they're really good and sometimes they're not. So, uh, those are typically the potions you usually want to be doing. Okay, so to calculate GP per XP, um, some kind of helpful things you might want to have is a notepad open and uh, a calculator to do some quick calculations, because I'm not that great at adding, but you might be, so whatever. Um, so, let's just start with, um, maybe we'll do super energy as an example, so... So I typically buy a 4 dose because I decant the potions when I'm done. Um, just because more people buy 4 dose than 3 dose. So what you want to do is buy really high, sell really low, just buy one potion. And do the same thing for each of the ingredients. So the unfinished potion and... Mortmire Fungus. Okay, so now you can go in the history of your GE and you can see uh, how much the super energy was, like the margin for each of the ingredients. So the first thing you want to do is I assume you're going to want to be buying low on each of these like ingredients and selling for uh, the highest price of the potion. So you want to take that 4441, four, 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 which is uh, for the super energy high, uh, divide that by 4 and multiply it by 3, or just multiply it by 3 fourths to get the 3 dose version, which is what you make uh, from the fungus and the Avento potion. And then um, you subtract the the price of the Mortmire Fungus at low, and the price of the Avento uh, at low. So minus 4, 1, 2, and minus 3, 6, 6, 5. Okay, so for my calculation I got um, 746.25 GP, and if I quickly look up The, how much XP you get from the potion, which is uh, 117.5. So you divide that 750 by uh, 117.5, and then you get your GP per XP, which is, in this case, 6.35. Um, so that means that for every uh, like XP that you gain in herb lore, you're spending 6.35 gold. Um, so that was just an example with super energies. Um, that's actually 
what I ended up doing in combination with super restores to uh, 90 until I got super combat potions. Um, but at the time, they were like 3 GP per XP, so they're probably not that great right now. So check all those other potions I listed off earlier, um, and check your luck on those. So there you go, that's your quick guide on how to um, calculate the GP per XP and kind of like how to go about doing herb lore, because there's, like I said, there's plenty of guides on the internet that tell you how to, but they're all like, oh, do this potion, do that potion, and when in reality the market changes so quickly that there's never any one good potion to be doing. So keep that in mind, and uh, good luck doing herb lore. See you later, guys.